Hello, my name is Janelle and I am from St. Lucia. Been living in Hangzhou for five and a half years where I teach English to students. Today, I would like to introduce to you the art seal of engravings. Seal engraving is an age-old Chinese art and handicraft and it also plays a big part in Chinese stone culture from the unearthed seals to the Chinese seal of Beijing Olympic Games. The art of seal engraving boosts a history of more than 3,000 years. Over 30 centuries ago, as false admission, theft and fraud came to light, with the emergence of private ownership in China, people started to inscribe a special mark on things they used, or goods as the proof for government agencies or themselves. The birth of commodity economy around 600 BC made seal a recognized voucher in China. Seals for emperor were called qi and other private seals were called yin. People would use seals to withdraw money or make deals. The common practice was later burnished by artists as a member of art family, hence the birth of the strikingly beautiful seal engraving. Stone, jade, metal, and crystal can all be used as engraving materials. First, we need to work out a draft on paper. Arrange the characters and put them on the stone surface before engraving. The art of seal engraving on jade was born and growing fast in the 16th century. Engraving artists came in large numbers later and Qiling Seal Engravers Society was the most renowned. In early 20th centuries, Yi Ming, Ding Ren, and several other young men often met at Gushan Hill by the West Lake. They all loved seals. They proposed to publish a book on the seals they collected and even to establish a society for engravers. They thought a long while for the site. Gushan was by then the smallest hill by the West Lake, but it was a God-blessed land. It was short but took a long commanding view. It was small but filled with cultural legacies. The young artists decided to erect the structures near Shufeng Pavilion. It was close to Shiling Bridge, hence the name Shiling. Wu Changshuo, a Grand Master in Fine Art, was named the first president of Shiling Seal Engraver Society in 1913. Wu's presence was a magnet to other master artists like Li Shutong, Wang Bin Hong, Pan Tian Shuo, and Feng Zikai. It even had over 20 fine art celebrity members from Japan, South Korea, and Singapore, like Nagao Uzan and Oyama Sanu. The address of the society has remained at 31 of Gushan Road. A humble circular arch stands at the doorway, but inside there is a different world. Pavilions and other buildings stand in varied height, and the whole place is strewn with cliffside engravings and celebrity handwritings. A seal-shaped stone tablet sits at the entrance, engraved with the autographs of Sha Meng Hai and other society members. Eva Tam Saka, Sutra Pagoda, the city's only multi-eaved pagoda, is another site. The body is alive with scriptures and fine Buddha statuses around its base. In 1918, before Li Shu Tong converted himself to Buddhism, he put 93 seals he's valued for years in a hole he drilled on the wall. Hangzhou soon fell after the outbreak of the War of Resistance against Japanese aggression in 1937 and the society members all experienced calamity. The houses were ripped asunder by explosions, but the damage of the seals they'd kept for years seemed a greater loss. Every attempt was made to retrieve the precious seals from the ruins and make them a collection published in Shanghai. In those war reading years, the artists always stuck to Shilling's tenet to keep seals first. In 1949, the founder, Ding Ren, was seriously ill. On his dying request, the society was handed to the government. All he wanted was to keep the name Shilling. Thanks for all thick and thin and Shilling members' efforts, it has now become China's foremost academy with the longest history in seal engraving. As Shilling enjoys a high prestige in the global seal community, it is called the number one society of the world. To greet the 19th Asian Games Hangzhou 2022, 
shilling arranged a thematic seal engraving show tour. A total of 74 engraved seals from Shilling's celebrity members were on display. There were slogans of previous Asian Games and the 40 sports competitions for this Games and its peripheral gifts. The event showed how we could mix the seal engraving with Asian Games and let the world know more about the special art from China. Shilling is also proactive in skill training for young artists. Wang Shen, born in the 1980s, is one of them. Seal engraving is now a part and parcel of his life. He practices engraving skills every day with knife, ink pad and sandpaper. The stone engraving history can tell a lot about the Chinese names, places and characters. He wishes to make use of his engraving knowledge to spread the culture. In 2009, the art of Chinese seal was put on the list of UNESCO intangible cultural heritages. The art is also considered a common practice for more people. For each summer, Schilling will host experience sessions for kids and their parents. They would get a chance to learn seal engraving, ink pad making and calligraphy, and the sessions would let more people access the charm of Chinese culture and art. For an engraved stone, we will find just on a pocket stone, face on constrained strokes, nice composition and superb engraving techniques. For artists, an engraving knife and a stone would be enough to take delight in the profound culture. It seems a mind universe recreated through fingers. Hangzhou Huaini.